this is a carpenter worm. Mm -hmm. So once an insect larva pupates in the trunk of the tree and hatches as an adult, then it lays its eggs on the surface of the tree, it bores into the tree, and it can feed for several years mm -hmm. before it actually hatches. Usually once the tree is selected, they will select that tree again and so you'll get multiple holes because they also maintain an opening to the outside that allows decay into the tree. As they chew on that wood, they do create frass. This is yeah, the frass. Yeah, it looks just like sawdust. And they push it out to maintain the cavity in which they're living in. Are there any controls or preventions for the trees surrounding this one? The approach is a treatment of the bark with an insecticide that's labeled for that and when those eggs hatch, they will be exposed to the insecticide. Once they are inside the trunk, even systemic insecticides don't uh, affect them because they're in the heartwood. Because the, the tree is large enough that it's uh, gonna fall over, removing the tree is one of the most important lessons we can pass on to the homeowner when they see this kind of damage. Structural damage that the carpenter worms do to the tree over time severely weaken it and becomes a hazard. With the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman from the ground up.